Hello my friend, it is I, Vadim. How are you doing? AMD avoids talking about the ray tracing performance of their upcoming GPUs. And it turns out that there is a good reason for it. Ray tracing performance of RX 6800 XT has leaked and we will have a look at it in this video. I just want to remind you that RX 6000 graphics cards will support DirectX ray tracing or DXR for short. It is the most widely used standard in current and upcoming games. I am happy to see that AMD didn't go the same route as Nvidia with their proprietary RTX technology. By the way, DXR works on all RTX Nvidia GPUs. Today's leak comes from Video Cards, who published an AMD slide showing RX 6800 XT ray tracing performance in 1440p. This slide was supposed to be shared with the public after the GPU's sales begin, so it is good that we have access to this leak. If you are planning to get one of the new AMD GPUs and ray tracing is important to you, you may want to have a look at the performance and think again before making the purchase. Thanks to the fact that AMD uses the same PC as before to benchmark this ray tracing performance, I can show you the performance difference with ray tracing on versus off. In Battlefield 5, the difference is huge. 130 FPS is lost when ray tracing is enabled. From 200 FPS to 70 FPS, just like that, with one push of a button. RT is definitely not worth it in this game. In Modern Warfare, we see a drop from 147 FPS to 95, which isn't too bad. It will still look decent on high refresh rate monitors. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider, performance drops almost two times from 155 FPS to 82 FPS. This is in 1440p, so you can forget about enabling ray tracing at 4K resolution. It looks like we will have to wait for the next-gen GPUs for that. It is disappointing, but I expected something like this when AMD avoided talking about ray tracing performance during RX 6000 presentation on stage. That is all for now, what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and click on that bell icon to enable notifications. Also, follow me on Twitter at iVadimTech to stay in touch and see more content. It was I, Vadim. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.